all, um, thanks for having us in Wales, having us in Cardiff um, for this friendly game. Uh, obviously for us, it's, a, it's another test to grow uh, our team towards the Asian Cup in January, February for Wales. It's a couple of days prior to leave for Latvia in the Euro you know, 2024 qualifier. So we're very uh, pleased that we get this opportunity to be here playing in this beautiful facility and uh, obviously we want to do well you know we uh, we are in a process of uh, testing things out and uh, rejuvenating the team step by step and uh, we want to play a very good game we want to win the game this is uh, normal it's a competition um, but uh, uh, overall it's uh, it's exciting to be here Yeah,その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その、その
The under 20 just finished in the final four of the World Cup. So you see talent is coming from Korea. You see more and more Korean players coming into Europe to grow, to learn, you know, to establish themselves. I mean, obviously they have their own kind of role models within the team, like uh, Sonny and like Kim Min-jae and, and like Jae Sung uh, in, in Germany. And uh, yeah, and I always said, you know, that uh, if uh, you want to have a very successful team at the end of the day in a World Cup, in a real World Cup, you need to have your best players play in the best leagues in the world. And this is what we're trying to do. We try to help you know, that they grow in the best leagues in the world, which is the top five in Europe. There's no doubt about it. And, uh, and more and more of the kids follow his path and follow the other's path. And uh, so it's a process. Uh, but uh, I'm so far after a couple of months being in this adventure, I'm very pleased. I'm very pleased. And I know that, you know, there's uh, social media is extreme in Korea. They tell me a lot. They teach me a lot every day. Uh, but uh, uh, I know exactly what we are doing, what we are trying to build. And uh, um, the, the real benchmark comes in January once we start the tournament in Qatar. Um, so the question comes to both um, Coach and Sonny uh, regarding the, uh, the captain armband. So to, ton to Sonny, he asked, um, um, how has you know, being the captain for the national team helped him you know, to be captain for Tottenham Hotspurs? And how has that, you know, being a captain has helped him grow up as a player, both in the national team and in his team? And to uh, coach him, he asked that, you know, what does Captain Sonny mean for, for him in the team? From the gym. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, 네, 일단은 분명히 도움이 됐다라고 생각을 하고 사실 대표팀에서의 주장이라는 건 엄청나게 큰 영광이고 뭐 소속팀에서도 마찬가지지만 사실 제가 뭐 주장직을 잘 하고 있다, 뭐 좋아한다라고 얘기하기는 뭐 그렇지만 사실은 어디까지나 뭐 말로써 아닌 좀 행동으로서 보여주는 주장이 되고 싶었고 사실 대표팀에 할, 했을 때부터 대표팀에 이제 주장을 처음 맡았을 때부터 그런 것들을 가장 먼저 보여주고 싶었어요. 근데 뭐 이런 것들이 어 제가 선수로서 또 사람으로서 성장하는데 분명히 정말 많이 도움이 됐다라고 생각을 하고 또 이번에 소속팀에서 어떻게 보면 주장을 맡게 되었는데 이런 경험들 또 부딪혀 보고 사실은 어떻게 보면 맨 땅에 헤딩을 하는 경우는 아니잖아요. 그래서 어 어떻게 보면 대표팀에서 지금 주장을 하고 있던 것들이 또 상당히 많이 도움이 됐고 또 가장 많이 도움이 됐던 거는 주변에 있는 선수들인 것 같아요. 주변에 있는 선수들 뭐 소속팀에서도 정말 좋은 그룹의 선수들이 옆에서 도와주고 있고 좋은 선수들이 도와주고 있는 것처럼 대표팀에서도 마찬가지로 옆에서 제가 의지할 수 있는 선수들이 항상 있어서 음 이런 것들이 분명히 도움이 됐다라고 생각합니다. Yeah, I mean, you know, being a captain for the national team and now wearing the captain's armband for my club team, it really has helped. Um, whether I like it or whether I'm a good captain, it's not down for me to make the judgment. But um, it, it has definitely helped. It has definitely helped. And obviously, it's a great honor and a great privilege, both in, in the, for the country and for the club. Um, but for me, being a captain, it's not by words. It's by action. I have to prove it. I have to show to the people and to my teammates and to my team that, you know, I can actually be the leader of the team. It's not about speaking. It's actually showing it on the pitch and on, you know, off the pitch as well. But what's most important is that I have the right players beside me. In the national team, I have a great bunch of lads who's helping me become a good captain. And the same in Tottenham. I have the players around me who help me to become a better person, a better player and a better captain. And being a captain, you know, I'm growing as a player, but not just as a player, but personally as well. And, you know, it's been a great honor and a great place so far but it's all it's also very important about who I have around me and it's been great you know it's I've, I've had you know I've to, I had the luck of being around great players both in the national team and at the club team yeah and for, for me as a coach you know having Sonny obviously as, as a captain and as kind of my prolonged arm in a certain way is it's huge it's huge because I know his background I followed his uh, 
career, obviously, I'm a big Spurs fan, as obvious. <laughs> uh, so that makes me even more proud, you know, that he's now captain of both teams, uh, the Korean national team and, and Spurs. But uh, it's just for me a pleasure uh, and a joy to see him kind of how he handles younger players coming in, how he looks after the team, how he t makes his own talks with the team um, and see that leadership in him. He has that needle. Uh, it's a natural leadership that is in him. And it inspires uh, not not only the youngsters. It inspires also the 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 more experienced players, you know, because of uh, who he is, what he's done, and what he's still doing. And uh, and in a certain way, it's it's exciting time times ahead of him. I mean, I when I started this adventure and this new chapter in my career, I, I, the first thing I told Sonny was, Sonny, you know, look at you know your career in in your club, but especially now. There's an Asian Cup that we haven't won for 60 years. And then there's a World Cup in America, Canada, and Mexico waiting, where I think if this team is growing and uh, this talent is getting better and better, then there is a huge opportunity you know, for Korea to go much, much further than they did in the last World Cups. And this is the goal, and this is why I you know, took this job, is to help them believe step by step to go much further in a World Cup than they did in the last three, four World Cups. And to have him on the side is, is just a joy. Okay. okay. So, uh, welcome to Wales. Uh, tomorrow you will play against one current teammate and one new teammate. Uh, ben Davis is obviously someone you know very well. Now, how much do you know about Brennan Johnson and what can you talk about to expect? 영어로 대답해요. 영어로 대답하면 될까요? 어떻게? Uh, look, I mean, uh, we should never forget Joe Rodan. So, also, he's one of my best friends. So, please don't forget um, his name as well. But look, I mean, Joe and Ben is one of my close friends. So, they're helping me really, really lot still in uh, Spurs. And they're helping me settle in London very well. So, look, Brandon... Is a another new player. He shows uh, his quality from last year in the uh, forest. So can't wait to see him on um, on my on my eyes. So he's very very good good player. So for me, I think he has a very good talent. So I mean Spurs Spurs. I mean welcome to Spurs player. But look, I haven't played with him and I haven't seen him in a in a action. But can't wait to see him tomorrow. Obviously, we're playing against each other, but a few days later, we are playing together. So, obviously, I can't wait to play with him. So, yeah, we'll see what's, uh, what's happened. Jürgen, you must be excited to see Brennan at Tottenham club. You, you said that you still support. But I have to ask, you're back in Cardiff. Mixed memories of Cardiff. We certainly still have some memories of your time this year back in... 1991. Uh, what do you remember from <laughs> that night and what do you expect from Wales? Oh, I think uh, Ian Rush took my jersey. No, <laughs> just kidding, we, we swapped jerseys. Um, no, I mean, we have uh, uh, interesting history, obviously, from a German perspective now with Wales. You know, we had the clash uh, before the World Cup in, uh, in Italy where Wales kind of almost kicked us out from the World Cup in the last second of the game or a couple of minutes before then, Mark Hughes. And then we had some qualifiers, you know, when leave the site, and and it's it's been always a, a emotional, traumatic um, kind of a matchup with Wales. No, I'm pleased to be here. I'm pleased to uh, always, you know, to get the opportunity to see um, see what happens in Europe and in different places. And and being here for us is it's really nice. We want to grow with our team. This is part of our growth now. These games. Um, and we want to prepare the best way possible for a very different type of a competition, the Asia Cup, uh, in January, February. And uh, uh, obviously, I'm a big follower of the Premier League, of the Championship. I know what's going on. I talk still to a lot of coaches, and and I'm always in touch with Spurs, uh, either with him on on the, on the players' level, or if it's with the officials, or you know, obviously with the coach. Um, so no, it's uh, it's 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 a nice opportunity. We hope. We show you good quality football tomorrow night. I'm actually convinced we will do that. <laughs> and then let's see, you know, who gets as a uh, as a better team off the field. Um, but uh, yeah, the history between Germany and Wales has always been an exciting one.
Jürgen, if you think that uh, the Son and your team can win an Asian Cup, do you think he might win something with Tottenham as well? That's been even longer, isn't it? Longer than 60 years? No, <laughs> 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 no. Um, I mean, this is this is uh, uh, what you what you work for, what you look f uh, look forward for. You know, the opportunity to get trophies, and obviously they have the opportunity to get uh, uh, an FA Cup or even a, a Premier League. I know, you know, we all know what's happening in the Premier League and and how dominant Man City is at the moment and how difficult it is. But if I look at the last year, you know, what Arsenal has done was tr was amazing. But I see a team that is not. Uh, has not uh, less quality than Arsenal in their Spurs side. Has a fantastic coach now, a manager that is a good people person. And uh, uh, why not surprising a lot of people uh, this year? Uh, his goal, like his entire team's goal, is to win trophies. Yes, you know, and it's been a long time for Spurs, but you know, you start every year with this goal in mind. You know, with this ambition, and that uh, the players and the coach they have that ambition. And and I'm just there as a follower and keep my fingers crossed as one of their biggest fans and hope that it's going to happen. Uh, then, obviously, on the national team level, um, it's uh, it's interesting um, from an international perspective to see. Uh, what happened in the World Cup, you know, how the Asian teams did in the World Cup. Almost all of them went in the knockout stage. You know, so there's a there's a huge improvement of quality. So even if you lost the first match of Argentina, ended up in a loss with Saudi Arabia, who we played then in, in a couple of days as well. Uh, you know, Japan did well, beat Germany. <laughs> you know, there was, have been a lot of surprises. And, uh, and we continue now to grow, but maybe with more ambition as it was maybe in the past. Say, okay, you know what? We're not just there for getting into the knockout phase. We want to go further. And a bit of Morocco showed how you get further in a World Cup. They've done well, and why not us in the next one? That is our goal. And in terms of the analysis you've done on Wales for this game, mm -hmm. have you looked at Brian Johnson? How do you think he's going to be a threat tomorrow, potentially? And how do you look at him to play the song for Spurs? I mean, that's Angus's uh, uh, job to make that fit. <laughs> and uh, uh, I will be on the outside following it and, and being a fan of it. Um, obviously, we did our homework too. I mean, we're not underestimating by one second this Welsh team. You know, we take them very, very seriously, have a lot of respect for them. And, uh, and then we will try to play the game to our strength. And uh, we have a couple of uh, very, very talented players with us. You know, we have to grow as a team. Uh, we have to do certain things a bit better than we did in the previous four games. Um, but this growth is important step by step towards January then when we go uh, to Qatar for the Asian Cup. Hi there. A uh, question to you to both, if I may. I may I'll, I'll give them one to you and then one to, to Sonny, if I may. The first one is about Ange Postelogli making Sonny the captain. Sonny's does it, done everything as a player anyway, but how can this take him to the next level as a player by handing him the captaincy. How, how shrewd a move do you think that's been by, by Tottenham? And a question for you, Sonny, as well. Um, you know, Harry has gone to Bayern Munich, but there seems to be a real feeling at the stadium with the fans, they're loving the way you're playing. Is that almost rather than being sort of mourning the loss of Harry, you are, it's, a, it's almost like a fresh start with fresh players coming in. I just wonder your thoughts on the start of the season. Well, maybe Sonny can talk about Harry. <laughs> <This is funny. laughs> uh, look, I mean, uh, you don't want to let Harry go, obviously, because he's one of the best players in the world. So I have spoke already a few times. Uh, when you have a Harry Kane on your team, you have a 20, 30 goals on your pocket, surely. So you have uh, this goal guaranteed. But I think the players have a um, dull, like, okay, we have to take, a, everyone have to take a, big step forwards and to moving this club forwards I think everyone have to take a big responsibility because you certainly you lost uh, 30 goals but now everyone had to step up to make these 30 goals all together you know so which is very very important I think I think that there because uh, when you see the first four games that the players are taking a responsibility and showing on the pitch that what what, what quality uh, they have so which is very important that's why I say already a few times that because of that, as a captain role, makes so easy because you have amazing players around you, because amazing group of players around you, also players, also human beings, so which is 
make my job really really easy so look it's only been four games and we are looking for uh, keep going in in a in a positive way and with uh, Brandon as well with the new signing obviously probably you guys want to hear, hear it about about him so I think he, when he come to the Spurs obviously he he want to improve he want to go next step so I think he feel the pressure as well but I think we can't wait to have uh, our team and playing even better better football and better attacking better fast football so I think everyone has to take a responsibility and Harry obviously moved in a in a good way so we in a football which is really happen often so we had to respect in a both way from the club side also from the player side so and then we wish him the best and uh, I wish him the best and I hope he can win the everything that uh, that what he deserves so so do probably hate you think about about the club obviously he was grow up as a from the youth team to the from the Spurs so from day one so probably he wish us also the best so then we move on Thank you. Jürgen, it's just the, what a sh- the shrewd move from possibly you were going to do it nationally but in terms of the move of making Sonny the club captain how can it make him even better well, you know, be named captain of your your club and such a big club, obviously, as Spurs, um, is is a recognition and uh, uh, an appointment that makes you proud. It makes you uh, understand and and in his role, you know, that um, your view changes. You know, in terms of before, maybe you looked a lot at everything in an individual way you know how do i be- do my best for the team to be successful and in his case score goals and do assists like he did over years and years the moment you get named captain of such a, a club you know comes comes the the role of being an observant as well so you look around you make sure that your teammates are all right that the younger players get integrated you know that you sense you know smell if there's going something wrong in the in the dressing room you know you become a, a part of both sides you know you talk to the your manager on a, con- a consistent basis and you talk to your players too so it switches it's it's changing you know it's a diff- it's a different way of looking at things but it's also a, a a a wonderful moment because you know it it broadens your your vision you know and uh, and you grow with that Oh, and this is uh it's exciting oh, and and uh and that's uh what i hope he will enjoy this role and uh obviously i hope for them first and foremost that they are successful as a team and and, and win something at the end of the day um but uh, to be named captain of such a uh prestigious club is something very special do the time empty to two questions from you and you first you can uh, I would want this one up there. Uh, the first question for you, Jürgen, is do you have any problems having said that your priority is the uh, Asian Cup in uh, January, getting players released, especially for friendly matches like this one? And uh, for Song, how important is this match to you personally? What do you expect to get, get out of it, both for yourself as a player and also for your team? Um, look, I mean, t- uh, this game is, means, uh, is a lot. I mean, every single friendly game, even we are saying, look, Asian Cup is important, but as a player or as a team, I think the friendlies are the most important thing because you're playing for tournaments to prepare the tournament well, you know? So you're coming from any time from the national team is one of the players' dream to play for. So whenever either... Is it September time, October time, November time? Is that friendly or is there any tournament? It is all important for us. You know, obviously we're playing for win win the games and uh, preparing for the tournaments, but it is huge, huge important and big honor. So, you know, we should never underrate this friendly game. Like we obviously we never told about this, uh, this game is it's going to be not important or whatever, you know. It will be very, very important to get the results and to prepare well for the for the uh, upcoming the tournaments. Mm. No, we had no problems at all getting players released. You know, obviously we have in the back of our mind also our 24 team going to China and play the Asian Games, which is very important. 
but that happens after our two friendly games now here. From a club side, all the players, no problem. We wished we would have brought with us, obviously, Kangin, Kangin Lee, who plays for Paris Saint-Germain, and a very exciting player, but he, he had a muscle issue and he's step by step playing bad, but we still have the hope that he's going with the under 24s to China. Right, this one, John. Uh, this is to break in different ways. Uh, so, uh, you've got your goal scoring touch back again, three goals. Uh, but how do you get to that point? So, when you aren't scoring goals, how do you work to, to refine that touch? Uh, and to Jurgen as well, as a manager and also as a player, when, when a player, a key player like your captain, isn't quite in that zone where they're, they're at the best, how do you go about supporting them? Or when you were a player, how do you go about finding that rhythm that, that, that touching? Um. Look, for me, it's not obviously the, yeah, it's a striker that you have to score, but football is not about yourself, you know? So football is about team sports that even even with your positioning, you can make uh, different players to scoring goals. Uh, you get me? You know, because I think football is sometimes you get spotlight when you're scoring goals. Yeah, which is very important, which is very... As an attacking player, it is very important to get your confidence as well. But I mean, I'm always thinking about this team sports, you know, like before I go to the game, I'm always thinking, yeah, where I can help the team in a in a different uh, different aspect, you know, even even when I don't score, you know, I can create the chances. And then look, sometimes the goal come to, sometimes coming in a row, you know, like in two games, three games, four games in a row that... The chances, you know, obviously you have to, you have to own it. You have to get it. The chances, but some games you feel like, oh wow, the the chance doesn't come. You know, even when you when you're right position, the ball just bounces back, and then going away. You know, but I mean, I'm never rushing when I'm not scoring for few games because if I'm not stepping up, I have a ten players behind me that who who can someone step up and then help the team you know this this why we love uh, that's why we uh, that's why we love football you know who can score some and we celebrate together like us like like us score you know so which is very important so look i mean it was very very good to get a score sheet before before i come to the national team which is could help for the club and for the national team as well but i think the goal is coming always when you are when you're ready so I'm always calm, try to wait uh, my chances. If the chance comes, try to be clinical as possible. So you were just relaxed. You knew that, like you said, you didn't score, you would make chances for your teammates. Right? Yeah, I mean, because if I, if I keep working hard for the team, the chance will be coming, you know, because, you know, when, when you're like, I'm not the, the type of guy that if I don't score a few games, like, I'm, no, no, I'm, like, I get stressed about it, you know, then the chance goes away for me, you know, like, I feel like that because then when you're working for for team, you give everything for the team and then the players know, okay, this guy is working for team and the chance will certainly appeal, you know, for in front of my foot. So this is how it works because I'm playing in the professional team in, a, I don't know, maybe 10, over 10 years. So I know how I do it and I experience it in my I experienced myself, you know, this is uh, this is very important for thinking about it only team and then the individual staff, the chance, the goal, the assist will come automatically. It's wonderful to hear because I would never have had that impatience, patience basically. <laughs> if I wouldn't have scored for three, four games, you know, don't even get close to me. <laughs> 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 no, it's, I love I love what he says and and uh, how he kind of looks at things. Um, obviously, um, an attacking player lives also off goals. You know, it's his food. It's food for life. You know, for us. You know, so if you have this approach, it's, it's fantastic. You know, and when I see players maybe having you know this like I was a bit more being impatient, getting step by step more aggressive, uh, and and so on, then I just tell them basically listen. Just keep on working. It will come. It will come that moment. The ball drops suddenly in front of you. You put it in, and and it all runs again smoothly. Um, but you know, just stay stay on track. Uh, and uh, the 
as as physical the, the game developed and you know the, it became a lot faster than it was 20 30 years ago of a lot more data driven now we know everything about every single player blah 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 you know the the real spice of the game is goals you know and when you get that opportunity to play up front and you score your goals this is a sensational feeling and you want to have that feeling every week if possible uh, but when it doesn't come then then just keep keep staying on track and uh, we have uh, besides uh, Sony, obviously some young strikers in our squad that you hopefully get to see tomorrow night. One plays up at uh, Celtic, you know, one that just came over now, plays in Denmark for Midtjylland. Uh, the other, you know, uh, uh, we ju just went at the last moment now from Forest uh, um, to Norwich. Very talented boys and uh, that's something now the learning curve for them is, okay, even if I don't score a goal for a while because maybe I don't get the minutes that I hope for to get, you know. I gotta stay on track. I gotta stay, stay, be ready, and not losing my confidence, and and just uh, keep the the head high. And uh, this is this is yeah, it's the the mental side of the game for strikers. It, it speaks to some maturity when you yep. discovered this, and you mentioned you would get frustrated. When did you discover that sort of side when you need to just let it flow? Was that as a manager or later years as a player? To let it flow, part still not in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, th I think, you know, uh, and, and nowadays the roles got a little bit differently defined. You know, a lot of teams play with one number nine. You know, my days, you know, when I played for Spurs, I had Teddy Sheringham. We shared kind of the amount of goals, you know, and, and so it was a little bit different to play. Um, but I think also every person is different. You know, every character is different. And every character deals differently with the pressure, with if being upset if you don't score for a couple of goals and and so and every every one of them needs a different way of of communication you know some need a hug and some need maybe a kick in the backside and 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 so on so that's what you develop later on as a manager you know you learn how to kind of communicate with different characters as a player you're very focused on yourself and hopefully i do my do my job for the team and also hopefully you know i prove to everybody that i'm worth it to play up front and to be that number nine at the end of the day uh, now, as I described before, being captain is another dimension now, you know, because you have to do both, you know, you have to look at your own performance and bring your own performances on, on board. But at the same time, you have to look around and make sure that everything runs smoothly within the team. So, so he's now in that maturing kind of part of his career where he has it's quite a bit on his shoulders, but it seems like <laughs> he's really relaxed with it. Thank you, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. See you outside. Thank you.